Often, the first command you see on the left side of the ribbon can reveal the importance of a feature. That is why, for example, you can find pivot table as the first command in the Insert tab of Excel. In the Power Query Editor, you can find one of the most important capabilities as the first command in Add Column tab. Column from Examples is a powerful feature that enables you to extract meaning from existing columns into a new column without any preliminary knowledge of the different transformations available in the Power Query Editor. By using Column from Examples, you can add new columns of data in the Power Query Editor by simply providing one or more sample values from your new column. When you provide these examples, Power Query tries to deduce the calculation needed to generate the values in the new column. This capability can be used as a shortcut to extract new meaning from data. This is a very powerful feature, especially for new users, because it means that you are not required to explore the necessary transformation in the ribbons or memorize the M formulas to extract the meaningful data into the new column. If you simply provide a few examples in the new column, Power Query tries to do the work for you. Start a new blank Excel workbook. On the Data tab, select Get Data. From File, from Workbook. Select the file adventurecycles.xlsx and select import. In the navigation dialog box it opens, select products and then select transform data. In the Power Query Editor, you can now see in the preview pane that the product column contains four dash separated codes. The challenge is to extract the third value, which reflects the size of the product. Select the product number column, and on the Add Column tab, select the Column from Examples drop-down menu, where you see two options, one from All Columns, and two from selection. We need to extract the size of the product from the product number, so select from selection. The Power Query Editor now enters a new state. The preview pane is pushed down, and a new section is shown on the top of the preview pane with the message Enter Sample Values to create a new column. In the bottom right part of this new section are OK and Cancel buttons to exit from this special state. On the right side of the preview pane is an area with a new empty column. This is where you can enter your examples. So before you do so, rename column 1 to Size by double-clicking the header of the new column. Now double-click the first blank cell in the Size column in the preview pane. A drop-down menu shows a few recommended examples that you can select from to create the new column. The values in the drop-down menu can provide some idea of transformations that can be used to populate the new column. In the first blank cell, enter S, which represents the bolded size value in the product number. Press Enter and Power Query populate the new size column with all the suggested values. Press Ctrl plus Enter or click OK to create the column. You can now see the new size column calculated as expected. Now you can load the data onto your workbook or a Power BI report and save it. Practical Use of Column from Examples Column from Examples is a very useful tool to discover new transformations that are available in User Interface and M. Let's demonstrate how a new transformation can be discovered using the output of Column from Examples. Here you can see that in Applied Steps pane of the Power Query Editor, the last step inserted text between delimiters contains a settings control in the shape of a cog at the right side of the step. By clicking the settings control you can open the text between delimiters dialog box. This dialog box allows you to extract text between delimiters. Now you know that such a box exists, you can explore the Power Query Editor to find which ribbon command can trigger it outside the column from examples flow. Exploring the Transform tab reveals the command Text Between Delimiters inside the Extract drop-down menu. 
For intermediate Power Query users, a great way to improve their knowledge of M is to use column from examples and review the suggested code that is shown in the top pane. You may find some useful functions, such as text dot between delimiters. Columns from examples can help you achieve a wide variety of transformations on text, dates, times, and numbers. Converting size to buckets slash ranges. In this part of the lesson, you will use the column from examples to group numeric size values into buckets. You can see that the size column contains a combination of alphabetic and numeric size values. In the next two steps, you will learn how to ignore the textual values and focus only on the numeric values in the size column by creating a new column with the numeric representation for sizes. There are several ways to achieve this goal. In Step 1, you will do it using the error handling features in Power Query. In Step 2, you will do it using Column from Examples. Step 1. To extract the numeric sizes from the size column by using error handling, first select the size column. On the Add Column tab, select Duplicate Column. Rename the new column's size numbers and change its type to whole number by selecting the ABC control in the header and whole number in the drop-down menu. You now see the error values in all the cells that contain textual size codes S, M, L, X, and NA. But you want to see the numbers only, so you need to replace the errors with nulls. To do this, select the size numbers column and on the transform tab, Select the Replace Values drop-down menu and then select Replace Errors. An easier way to find the Replace Errors transformation is by right-clicking on the column header and finding the transformation in the shortcut menu. In the Replace Errors dialog box that opens, enter Null in the value box and click OK to close the dialog box. Step 2. To extract the numeric size values from the column using examples, instead of replacing errors with null, first delete the last four steps that were created in Applied Steps. Your last step should now be Insert Text Between Delimiter. Select the Size column. On the Add Column tab, select the Column from Examples drop-down menu, and then select From Selection. When the Add Column from Examples pane opens, showing the new column, rename it Size Numbers. Double click the first blank cell in the Size Number column. You can see that the value in the Size column is S. Because you are not interested in textual size values, enter Null in the first blank cell and press Enter. When you see that the second and third values in the size column are M and L, enter NULL in both and the second and third cells of the size numbers and press ENTER. Move to the cell in row 7. You can see that the value in the size column is NA. Enter NULL in the seventh cell of the size numbers column and press ENTER. Move to row 21. You can see that the value in the size column is X. Enter NULL in the corresponding cell of the size numbers column and press ENTER. Now in row 22 you see the value 60. Enter 60 in the corresponding cell of the size numbers column and press ENTER. Power Query populates the new size column with all the suggested values. You can now press Ctrl plus Enter to create the new size numbers column. In Applied Steps, you can now see the Added Conditional Column step. Select the Settings icon or double-click this step. And the Add Conditional Column dialog box opens. This dialog box allows you to create a column based on conditions in other columns. You could also have reached this point and created a new column for numeric size values by applying a conditional column instead of by using column from examples. Close the Add Conditional Column dialog box. You will learn about this dialog box later.
Change the type of size numbers column to whole number by selecting the ABC control in the header of the column in the preview pane and whole number in the drop down menu. In the queries pane, right click products and select reference. Rename the new query numeric size products. To rename the query, right click on the query in the queries pane and select rename in the shortcut menu or rename the query in the query settings pane under properties in the name box. Using reference is a very useful technique for branching from a source table and creating a new one, starting from the last step of the reference query. In the new query, remove all the products whose size numbers value is null. To do so, click the filter control in the size numbers column and select remove empty. Say you want to convert the numeric sizes into the buckets of X, L, M, and S as follows. Numbers equal to or greater than 70 will be assigned to the X bucket. Numbers equal to or greater than 60 will be assigned to L. Numbers equal to or greater than 50 will be assigned to M, and numbers equal to or greater than 40 will be assigned to S. Here are the steps to achieve this by using column from examples. Select the size numbers column and in the Add Column tab, select the Column from Examples drop-down menu and then select From Selection. Rename the new column size bucket. Enter X in row 1 because the size numbers is 70. Enter L in rows 2 and 3 because the size numbers values are 60 and 62 respectively. Enter M in row 5 because the size numbers is 50. Enter S in row 20 because the size numbers is 40. Press Ctrl plus Enter to create the new size bucket column. The size bucket column now contains the required bucket names for the relevant ranges. For learning purposes, double click the Added Conditional Column step in the Applied Steps pane. The Add Conditional Column dialog box opens. Review the conditions that define the ranges from each bucket and close the dialog box. Review the M formula in the formula bar for a quick glimpse into the M syntax. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day.